Welcome back, Rankers. It's good to be back in cold Melbourne. Kind of. Uh, just back from Thailand last week. In case you missed the show last week, I did it from PP Island, Thailand. You'll love it. Go and watch it. This week, big news. Google has announced, as of about three hours ago, a new tool to disavow links. Remember, this is something we've been talking about for ages that Google needed. Because, in case you're new here... Google released the Penguin update earlier this year. It was about bad, one of the things was about bad linking or linking back to your site, which was done in a way that violated Google's terms of service. And before that, in about February, Google sent out a bunch of notices to webmasters saying, we've detected that your site has a lot of spammy backlinks. You better get rid of them or we're going to penalize you. That happened as well. And since then, a lot of people have been talking about, well, surely someone can do a thing called negative SEO. And there's been a lot of debate about this. Google, for their part, has said, yeah, we really don't think that you can actually do negative SEO. The idea of negative SEO would be that I'd go out and get someone to put thousands and thousands of unnatural spammy backlinks directed at my competitor. Google said, well, no, we don't think that can happen. But they really weren't definitive about it. And a lot of webmasters have said, well, I can prove that negative SEO works. I haven't actually seen a report yet where you could concretely say that activity A resulted in a website going down in the rankings because of that activity of buying spammy backlinks, whatever. But this disavow tool is something that we've all been asking for ever since this attack, if you like, on spammy backlinks came about. So we can say, look, you know, here's our webmaster tools. By the way, go into webmaster tools, go into links to your site, and click on more. And this will tell you all the backlinks that Google knows about. So not all the backlinks, but just the ones that Google knows about that are linking to your site. And you might see some domains in there you think, well, why have I got a backlink from there? I mean, for us, yeah, I know what most of these are. You know, Google.com, thank you for linking to us. YouTube, I know what that's from. Um, I know what a bunch of these are from. Uh, they're mainly from articles that we've written and people have linked back to the article over time. And then occasionally you'll see some that are a bit odd, like this one, SEO, SEM, Google.info. Well, that's a weird one. But it sounds like it's a good backlink because it's from an SEO site, right? Well, it's odd because it's not something that we went and got. So someone's linked to us. So, and then you go and have a look at then these links here. These are all the pages that are linked from that site to our site. So all, we're getting all these links. So, you know, 14 backlinks, all these different pages, which is, okay, nice, maybe. Or is it someone trying to have a go at negative SEO on us? So you go and have a look at this page, and this is the page that's linking to us. It's pretty odd, right? It's a pretty ugly page at that. And you can see they're linking to a bunch of other SEO-related stories. Now, I'm not saying this is a, necessarily a go at negative SEO. If it is, it's a very bad one. I think it's probably just someone's attempt at experimentation or testing, dragging a whole bunch of backlinks on SEO-related materials, uh, because then if you go and have a look and see who owns this particular domain, we can see here that it's a Terry Davies out of Brisbane, and a little bit more digging, you, we can find out that he own, well, is presumably the principal in a company called All A Million SEO, and this is their site here, you know, where they say, yes, you can fool Google, and that's his site, All A Million Proprietary Limited. So I don't necessarily think he's having a go at um, negative SEO. But I don't know. It's probably not a bunch of backlinks I want because they look kind of spammy. I don't think Google would be putting much weight in those backlinks either. And those backlinks in, in and of themselves wouldn't necessarily constitute a pattern of bad backlinking behavior to Google. But let's just say that there was a whole bunch of them that I wanted to get rid of. Well, now you can go and do that. And you can go to Webmaster Tools, 
disavow hyphen links hyphen main and then the, basically you just go and put your whatever your your website whoops I hope I didn't break it you go and put your website name in there and you get to upload a file right and in that file you list all the backlinks that you want to get rid of and Google explains that quite comprehensively in the webmaster, Google Webmaster Central blog uh, today. Go and have a look at that. But there's a, there's a file format that you have to submit. Uh, and there's a whole heap of Q&As here that I suggest if you're a webmaster that you read. Because a lot of them are pointing to, um, they're saying, really you should only be using this tool if you know you've done spammy backlinking in the past. Well, what if someone's done spammy backlinking on your behalf, but you didn't know about it? negative SEO, right? They're not mentioning that at all. But I think that is now, and I think this the launch of this tool kind of confirms that negative SEO is a reality. I mean, I know I've, I've said I haven't seen anything about it before, and a lot of people have been screaming about it, but I haven't seen any real evidence. That this, to me, today, says, yes, it could be a real issue. Because you might have gone and hired a bad SEO and didn't know that they were doing all this spammy backlinking technique. We've had one client this year who would fall into that category. Unfortunately, we had to go and manually uh, request removal of all the backlinks that were done by a previous SEO. We didn't have this tool. If we had this tool, it would have taken us half an hour to fix, uh, well, to at least alert, alert Google. Google's saying that depending on how many spammy backlinks you upload in this file, it may take weeks or months before they get a chance to recrawl, because they have to go and recrawl all those links to then disavow them or not count them towards your uh, backlink profile. And then you will start to see your rankings come back. So if you've been hit by Penguin and you know you've done some, or someone on your behalf has done some dodgy backlinking, go and use this tool today. Uh, the sooner you use it, the sooner your backlink profile is going to be fixed. And that is it for today's show. If you have been hit by negative SEO or if you have uh, done some spammy backlinking and you're using this tool, please give us your feedback. We'd love to know how long it takes to work for people. We don't actually have any sites that we can test it on ourselves. But if you'd like it tested on your site, if you want us, if you've been hit by spammy backlinks, let us know. And we'll certainly have a go at, uh, at fixing it for you because we want to see how fast this thing works. Uh, if you've got any comments, please leave them. Uh, hey, give us a thumbs up on YouTube or whatever video you're watching this through or Smart Company, leave a comment there. We'll try to get back to everyone's comments. And thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.